Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Banana Fish, and you are watching a ch -ch 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 vlog number three. That's my new thing. I do a 360 spin and a wacha. I like to swivel. My chair has a swivel. I can 360 swivel like that. You gotta get swivel chairs. All right, today's vlog uh, is about love. See, there's a time when man and a woman come together and they, they share a thing that I like to call sex. <laughs> no, we're talking about uh, Japanese Valentine's Day. That's right, in Japan we do celebrate Valentine's Day, but it's got a little twist to it. You know, if my mind serves me correctly, uh, where I come from, Valentine's Day is about the man giving a gift or chocolate to the woman. But here, actually, it's the other way around. Valentine's Day in Japan, the girls are the ones that are giving the chocolates to the boys. But it's not so simple. There's actually different uh, meanings behind the chocolates. So you have a thing called giri choco. Giri choco is chocolates that you give to someone that expected that you're supposed to give it to them. So for example, if you work in a company, the female staff sometimes will put their money together to buy chocolates for all the male staff. Or uh, the women often just are expected to give chocolates to their superiors or their, or just their, it doesn't have to be their superiors, but it's, it translates into obligatory chocolate. So it's just sort of like a politeness. You're not really communicating any affection towards that person. You're just sort of, it's out of, out of respect. You give them chocolate. Then you have the homemade choco. This is the legit choco. This is the choco that you give to the person who you actually have feelings for. It's a really good opportunity to show that they like somebody or tell somebody that they're interested and and want to date them or something like that. Uh, also, there's a thing called Tomo Choco. They start giving uh, chocolates out uh, from elementary school and junior high and stuff. So junior high is generally that awkward age where nobody wants to admit that they have feelings for uh, the opposite sex. So a lot of times the girls would just uh, give chocolates to their friends and share chocolates that way. Also, uh, in elementary school, a lot of the kids will just give chocolates out to all their classmates. Uh, that's common. Also, another thing, is that uh, the girls actually make the chocolate. Uh, so whether it be uh, cookies or little brownies or cupcakes or things like that, instead of buying them, it's kind of part of the tradition to make it yourself. And I know what some of you are probably thinking right now, if you're not really making a, a really good case against Japan being a very patriarchal society, uh, this is starting to sound a little bit unbalanced. And for all you naysayers, I would like to now introduce the concept of White Day. <laughs> One month after Valentine's Day. So you got Valentine's Day is February 14th. So on March 14th, you have a thing called White Day. Now on White Day, the men who received chocolate from anybody on White Day, you are expected to return the favor. You're supposed to go and purchase some nice chocolate and give them back to the people who you receive chocolate from. So it's kind of balanced in that respect. Um, granted, you know, the girls are expected to initiate, but you know, in the end, you're supposed to get some chocolate back. So that pretty much wraps it up what Valentine's Day is like in Japan. So I would like to move on to our next segment. Japanese chocolate, most common Valentine's Day chocolates, tasting of the most common chocolates you can find in Japan in review. Let's see what we got here. I try to get a variety of things. Some I've had before, some I have not. So let's start simple. It's one of the most common and like classic chocolates you can get in Japan is of course Pocky. They come in a box that looks like this. They're just little sticks that are dipped in chocolate. Now, there's one thing I wanna talk about before I get into this. Japanese chocolates are significantly better than American chocolates it's in sweets in general. So when I go back and try to eat American chocolates, there's there's no flavor to it. It just tastes like a big chunk of sugar. Anyway, let's take a look at what we got here. You can never go wrong with Pocky. You see, it's like you got this like little crispy stick. I was just been dipped in a little pool of chocolate. It's really good. I think the inside is not chocolate. The inside is still a stick. Just a crispy little stick. So like, you know, they're more subtle with their chocolate stuff. They don't, they don't overdo it, you know? Like, 
They're really addicting. No, like you can just I can go through a box of these no problem. Sometimes I can't eat them fast enough, so I like double stack them. I'm never triple stacked though. That's just crazy. Triple stack is just crazy. I'm gonna do it though. Yolo. That's a little bit too much. I think that's a little bit too much. I think I think it's best to stop it too. Okay. Moving on. Next one is get down. Pino me. Pino me is a. It's supposed to be like a chocolate pie. It's supposed to resemble like a little mini chocolate pie. Um, and the cool thing about this one, there's these instructions on the back that uh, tell you how you can heat it up in your microwave and get it super melty. So let's do that. There you go. These things are awesome. I love these things. Anyway, let me get a plate. I'm just going to put some on here. And we'll do like a little comparative thing. So I've never actually heated these up before. So I'm really curious to try. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I'll, I'll try some of them non-heated and some heated. We'll see which one's better. There we go. All finished. So let's see. It's good. Didn't really change much. It's a little softer. Maybe I didn't heat it up long enough. Anyway. Oh wait, that one. That one was warmer. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I get it. Oh, yeah, these are good. It's got like a. It's got like a glaze, some sort of like. I think it. I think it's maple. I think it's got like a maple glaze. And on top of it, mm. cold ones are good too. But no, I think the verdict is that the warm ones are where it's at. Mm. Oh. Okay, now, uh, for the next one, you can get these packs, little party packs. And this is Kinoko no Yama and Take no Ko no Ri. I guess, from what I've heard, they're both made by the same company. And either you're the type of person who likes the Take no Ko or the Kinoko. They're basically the same thing, but like they have a different shape. Right, so they come in these little party packs. Like single serving, I guess they're supposed to be. Um, so this is the takenoko, and these are the kinoko. Takenoko is like bamboo shoots, and uh, <clears throat> kinoko is mushrooms. So that's the shape that they're supposed to be taking. So let's take a look. This is going to be the day that I actually eat one each in succession. So I'll be able to, you know, if there is any difference at all, I'll tell and make my my official choice of which one I prefer. Right. So here's the uh kinoko and this is the takenoko this is it here we go it's a big moment okay that's good now i think there's a point here the shape like the pocky uh has a little crispy crisp stick uh, the cap of the mushroom is just solid chocolate. There's no crispy, crispy, crisp, crisp inside. The contrast of those two, getting that thick part of chocolate with the little crispy stem, is very nice. Now let's take a look at this one, the takenoko, and, uh, and let's see, see, see what it tastes like. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was good too. This one. It's pretty got it's got some pretty strong chocolate part too. It's pretty thick chocolate at the top. But there's a flavor here. There's a different flavor. It might just be me, but the choc the flavor of the chocolate on the takinoko is different from the kinoko. 
I'm not sure if it's better. Give me a second. Okay, I know. I know which one I like. Are you ready for the verdict? Ta-da! I like the mushroom better. Again, like I said, that thick chocolate at the top, and I, I'm not really a big fan of the, the, the difference of the flavor of the chocolate of the Taki no Koba. So if I have to choose either one, I now know, I can now put my mind at ease uh, regarding this, this problem. Definitely the uh, mushroom one. Okay. I'll keep going. Chocolate. Too much chocolate. Okay. No. Again, you got takinoko, kinoko, bamboo shooter, mushroom chocolate. You have two different sects. When the people ask me what, which one I liked, you know, I didn't really know the difference between the two until now. I would always say this one, koala no machi, has been my favorite one uh, for a while now. This one and the pai no mi is, has been the, the two that, that I would prefer uh, based on the texture and the flavor. So let's take a look at this one. It's got, you see it's got some cute koalas on the front. Each one uh, has a little uh, art of uh, a cute little koala character. You know, let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, so here we go. It looks like this. I don't know if you can see that all right. Um, yeah, and it's, it's like everyone's got a little carrot, a little cute little Japanese koala. There's no Japanese koala. It's got a little, you know, a cute little cartoon koala doing something. This one's like, a, he's, he's sitting in Seiza and he's got his little fan with him. See that? Come here. This guy, what is he doing? He's chewing on something. You see that? What's he chewing on? What are you chewing on, boy? Come here, give my mouth. What are you doing? What are you he got, he got a whole lot of pizza, he got a piece of pizza, you know, give me a hand. Choco ball. I never had this one before. <laughs> okay, let's do the next one. Let's do more. Banana choco. Got a monkey. I saw it. I saw it at the store. Open it up. Moving on. Black Thunder. <coughs> okay. Black Thunder looks like this. It looks like a regular candy bar. It's got like, I don't know, some, this is like, okay.
行ったかだったら登録してくれないねえねえするよねじゃ,じゃあ早くしてな,なんでしてないのし,してよもうしてよあれだよなんか右のボタンねするよねうんじゃあよろしく。